former FTX U.S. president reportedly quit after protracted disagreement with Bankman Fried A new 45-page report detailing accounting failures at the failed crypto exchange says that at one point employees were instructed by an unnamed higher-up to come up with some numbers. I'd Featured speaker Brett Harrison founder and CEO architect Don't Miss FTX, what happened with the former president of FTX's U.S. arm and Anthony Scaramucci. Secure your seat featured speaker Brett Harrison founder and CEO architect Don't Miss FTX, what happened with the former president of FTX's U.S. arm and Anthony Scaramucci. Secure your seat A new report from the failed crypto exchange FTX's current leadership says that former FTX U.S. president Brett Harrison resigned last September partly because of a protracted disagreement with CEO Sam Bankman Fried and members of his inner circle. The report, filed Sunday with the U.S. Bankruptcy Court in Delaware, is FTX CEO John J. Ray 3's first detailed account of the control failures at the exchange since he took over after its spectacular collapse last November. Harrison, according to the report, had serious concerns about the way FTX U.S. was being run, including the lack of appropriate delegation of authority, formal management structure and key hires. When he took those concerns to Bankman Fried and Nishad Singh, former director of engineering, his bonus was drastically reduced and he was instructed by company lawyers to apologize to Bankman Fried, according to the report. He refused. The allegations are consistent with Harrison's earlier statements, made via Twitter, that he was threatened after making a written complaint in April 2022, and told that he would be follow the URL for the full article. For more on this story, visit the news article link.